Hello everyone, Marty Jopson here. Today, under my microscope, well, it's a scanning electron microscope for a start, and what I've got is some crazy remains from creatures from the bottom of the Atlantic Ocean. So, um, let's jump straight into it. So hopefully all the technicals work. Boom. There you go. So, what you've got here now is... Um, uh, a scanning electron microscope down at the uh, at the Zeiss headquarters, okay? And the sample you're looking at is from Simon Crowhurst at the Cambridge University Earth Sciences Department, so thanks to him. And what I'm going to show you is this strange thing right in the middle here. So let's zoom in on this thing. Here we go. If I kind of click there like that, we should zoom in a little bit on it. And what you're seeing here, there's all sorts of things. These uh, these strange things at the top here. This is um, a foraminifera. Uh, but what I want to look at is this thing here. This thing here is called a radiolaria. Or radiolaria. And it what you're actually looking at there, if I centre it, is the silica remains of a single-celled uh, protozoa, so a single-celled creature. It's kind of like a, um, uh, it's kind of like an amoeba actually, but what it's got is it's got an internal skeleton. So we have an internal skeleton and we normally think about, you know, something like an insect has an external skeleton, but these little amoeba things, these little plankton that live in the, the deep ocean out there in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean, they also have an internal skeleton made of silica, and uh, it creates these sort of weird, beautiful shapes. Uh, let's go in a little bit closer. And you can see as we get in closer, isn't that fantastic? Look at the, look at the beautiful detail on it. Oh, this is, all, by the way, below me is all the control stuff. And oops, no, it's that way. There's the actual image, obviously. So we've got this amazing structure. Now, what happens is you've got, imagine you've got a sort of an amoeba. So it's a glob of kind of cytoplasmic goo, so just sort of jelly stuff. And then inside of it is this crazy structure with all these spines on it. And the spines don't actually stick out into the water because if they did, they'd just dissolve. The spines are completely contained within pseudopods. So it sticks out sort of tentacles and arms that it creates. But the really cool thing is that it then has this shell. And inside the shell, if I... If I click there and then zoom in a bit further on that, can you see that inside this outer shell, so to speak, this outer shell here, you can see inside here, there's another shell inside. And in fact, they have multiple layers of shells. And this particular species was probably something called Hexastylus, has two layers of shells, and the, the cell nucleus, so where all the DNA and everything is, and the mitochondria, most of them are inside that central bit. And then there's a membrane, and then there's the outer cell, and then there's the outer membrane of the whole species. But um, it's a pretty crazy structure. And in fact, Ken, who, thanks to Ken, who does all the sort of the hard work setting these things up, he noticed that in here there's even more fine detail. And if I zoom in on this bit here. Ooh, not that close. No, 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 too close, too close. <laughs> Can you see there's a whole load of sort of detritus that's sort of collected on these things. These are literally just the skeletons that's all that's left of them. And the detritus that you've got there is, um, these are what are known as coccoliths or coccoliths, sort of little bits of coccoliths, which are other types of single celled animal that's break up. And the detail on these things is even more fantastic. I can zoom in on these and look at these. These are these tiny little creatures living, floating in the sea. Now, I mean, <clears throat> there's all sorts of different types. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to um, show you a couple of others. So if you look sort of immediately below me down here, right, this area down here, that is the sort of the whole sample that we're looking at. And can you see literally just there, right in the middle of where my sort of highlighter spot is, there's a little blue dot. That is where we are currently looking. But there are other things to see on this slide. So let's jump out and we'll go and have a look at something else. And what I need to do now is I need to click on there. And I think what we'll do is we'll look at this specimen here. 
and then I shall go back to the image. So we've jumped to a different part of the slide, to the, the, the stage, and we're now looking at a different specimen altogether. Now this one's been a bit more beaten up, but if I zoom in on this, you can see that it's a very similar, it's, a complete, it's actually a completely different species. It's got these spines, and this, by the way, this thing here, is, what, is a spine that's come off a radiolaria um, that's just broken off. They're very, very fragile. But you can see this specimen here is made up of these multiple layers. And in fact, the outermost layer is this layer here. Okay, so let's have a little close up on that. And by the way, the scale of these things, currently the size of my highlighter dot here is about 30 micrometers across. So that's about five blood cells worth. But you can see, so that's the outer layer. Then you've got the next inner layer. And then sitting inside this thing here is a teeny tiny inner section. Let's zoom in on that. Look at that. <laughs> Incredible detail of these creatures. And all this is, is just a, uh, a silica shell that's the, all that remains from one of these tiny, tiny little plankton uh, that's then drifted down to the bottom. Now, I did say uh, in some of the, the stuff that I, I was thinking that I wanted to look at diatoms as well. So we've got some diatoms in here as well. Let me just zoom out a little bit um, and then go to a diatom. So a diatom is a is sort of same but different. Diatoms are also single-celled creatures but while these things are related, these are protozoa, they're, they're related more to, al, uh, to things like amoeba, um, which I've, and thing, similar creatures like that. Um, a diatom, let me go to browse, uh, and this was the sample I wanted to look at. A diatom is a, an actually a single-celled algae, so it's closely related to things like um, seaweed. So it's basically a single-celled little seaweed. Now, diatoms are pretty important, and there's one here. This is a, this thing here, by the way. This is a what's known as a foraminifera. Um, but this is the thing we're going to zoom in on. Okay. So this is just a single-celled diatom, and as soon as we begin to zoom into it, you can see it sort of looks like a. From at the outside, it looks just like a tea tray. But then you zoom in and you start to see some of the detail on it. And you can see it's got all these tiny little holes in it. Um, let's keep going in a little bit closer. Um, now, the, one of the clever things that we've done here, that Ken has done for us, is we're actually looking at an uncoated sample. So a lot of the time when you're looking at scanning electron microscopy samples, you look at stuff that's gold coated and that actually hides some of the fine detail. But that isn't the case with this. This sample is not coated at all. And that means as we zoom into it, if I zoom right in, oops, I went a bit closer than I anticipated there. But let's, um, as we zoom in, you can see it's got these tiny little holes all over it. And the detail on them is just beautiful. So now Go in again, and you can just about make out in here. So these you can make out this sort of little bits of rubbish on the surface. But if you look, there is something inside there. You can just about see some finer details still. And look at the scale bar at the bottom. If you go right to the bottom down here, there's a scale bar. My dot is now about two micrometers across, two millionths of a meter across, and these holes, these pores, are smaller than that. So let me go back to, what I want to do is I'm going to go back to the, um, to this fella here. So that's just a little look at radiolaria and diatoms. Clearly, I could, I could spend an hour just zooming around and looking at cool stuff. But I'm limiting myself to just the mere 10 minutes of this fun stuff. Um, thank you very much for watching. Um, uh, I've already said thanks to Zeiss, but I'll say it again. Thanks to Zeiss and also to Simon Crowhurst, who provided us with this sample from the very bottom of the Atlantic Ocean. Uh, that's all I've got time for. Thanks very much. See you next time. Bye bye.